Kiss the Moon, Kiss the Sun, a show about to open at the Mercury Theatre in Duncan. I'm in rock star mode, I'm very tired, but I'm going to do this for you. I'm James Green, and you're watching Go Island on TV. <laughs> on TV. <laughs> On today's show, one of our own wordsmiths, Raji Kabli, enters a video poem contest. And in Cowichan Bay, Paul Beilstein meets a chef who's foraging for fungi. And at Goldstream Park, Dan Kahn pans for salmon during their annual upstream run. All that in a delicious dish from Chef Michael Williams, right here on Go Island. <laughs> Welcome to a very dramatic episode of Go Island. We're in the Cowichan Valley, Duncan at the Mercury Theatre for a play that's coming up in early November called Kiss the Moon, Kiss the Sun. Here's the director. Uh, tell us a little bit about this story. Well, it is about, first of all, at face value about a man, an adult man with the mind of a seven-year-old who is obviously uh, needing care and help, who lives with his mother his ailing mother, it turns out, and during the play we'll find out that she is not in good health and consequently she starts worrying about the future of her son. Mom, there's a man at the door who wants to see Holly. Oh, who could that be? Holly, tell the man he can come in, dear. Okay, you can come in. No, Robert. Go and take the man's coat and then show him in. Okay. We don't yell in the house, dear. Okay. Holly! Now, you're the director, uh, but you're also playing the part of the, the grown man with the seven-year-old mentality. How do you wrap your acting abilities around that? And is it a careful process? It was, uh, yeah, I did have to do some research to see how people behave that are like that. No, I am Robert. We just met. Of course, you want to present it in a most uh, respectful way, in a respectful manner. At the same time, of course, the inappropriateness of his remarks and questions is hilarious. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we're not never laughing at the person, always with the person, of course. I was there when the baby was born, but I didn't look. I held her hand, but I didn't watch. You're working with the Mercury players. Uh, tell us about the talent we have on stage. Uh, who's, who's playing Claire? Claire is played by Gloria Cesura. She is uh, new to us. She, she joined the Mercury players when we did this production. Uh, I think I was quite a lucky find. I think she's pretty good. God has a plan. Oh, I'm afraid I'm missing the point of this plan. Leaving my son all alone. In this world, you should be ashamed of yourself. Hello, little Clayton. Hello, little Clayton. Uh, there's a baby that enters the scene. Uh, what are we seeing here with this uh, this cute little bundle of joy? This is one of the many complications of this play that make it, in fact, so interesting to watch because new surprises around every corner. Yes, so this is the little bundle of joy, is it? Yes. It's a he, actually. Did you know it was a boy? Yes. Oh, then you're up to date. Good. So a lot of hard work goes into it. You know, are you asking for the community to come and appreciate the work that's gone in? Totally, yeah, absolutely. That, of course, is essential. You do need those people that are, are fans of the theatre and even others that become fans of the theatre. Well, we're going to keep concocting the creativity on this show because in this first story from Raji Kabli, she's about to look at this new event on the festival circuit, how video blends with poetry. And she's going to try her hand. Go Island, lots of drama on the show today and we're in the heart of the Cowichan Valley in Duncan at the Mercury Theatre. And this is Jim Clough and you're president of the Mercury Theatre Society. How long have you guys been uh, creating shows for the, the locals? We've been here for 15 years now. Started last century, 1999. So, uh, and, and what, what, is your, what, what are you trying to create here in the Cowichan Valley? There's a lot of talent that ends up here, for, you know, in, in various uh, walks of life, so. I've been doing this in the Valley for a long time, right from toddler up, and it's just, um, an expression of, of who we are and giving everybody a little something to do on those rainy nights 
in uh, the Cowichan Valley where you know it never seems to stop. And you know a typical local actor has a day job so this is a creative outlet for some people isn't it? Who do we have up on stage for this show? What's the matter Claire? What am I going to do about Robert? We have uh, a doctor who's playing a different doctor. We have a teacher. We have um, a young up-and-coming rock star and uh, we have a, um, an important uh, foreign person who, who has chosen to come and live in this country and translate. So it's a real diverse group. When can people come and see this? Uh, the show is called Kiss the Moon, Kiss the Sun. It's written by Norm Foster who's a Canadian playwright so it's local, local content. Canadian content. Well, we can all relate to it. Yeah. That's right. Oh yeah, it's, it's a very personal story, uh, ordinary people. Uh, the show opens on the 6th of November and there's seven performances. There's uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, Sunday matinee, and then the following weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. Uh, what is it about the theatre experience? You know, people are probably thinking, oh, I'll just stay in and watch a movie. Why is this more of an experience for them? Uh, this is a throwback. This is where people actually meet people and talk to people face to face without a telephone between them. It's, you get a chance to, to feel the emotion and allow your own emotions to, to feed back and, and get a loop going. It, it's re well, it's real. That's the thing. You laugh, you cry, you feel good, and you see friends, you see people you know. It's a small community, especially the theater community. Well, I'm looking up here what the next story is, and we're gonna take a quick break. But when we come back, our video journalist, Paul Bielstein, finds out that this is the best time of the year for a mushroom hunter. Understand. Goodbye, God. I was feeling it. A very emotional performance by Gloria Shizora, but she's sharing the stage with some very talented other locals. Who, who else do we have? Oh, she's also sharing the stage with Brianne Landry. She was also in the Shakespeare production with Shawnigan Players, as well as with the South Island Musical Theatre Society's My Fair Lady. We also have Alex Gallagher, who is very well known in the community with the Shawnigan Players, as well as with the Musical Society and, and the Mercury Theatre. And is he the gentleman that shows up? Uh... He's the father of the baby, oh. yes, baby Clayton. Yeah. And then we also have Michael Treaties, who's also on the executive of the Mercury Players Board, and he plays the doctor. And he has been in several productions throughout the community and it's like you brought up earlier all these folks work and they're all dedicated to their experience with theater so and is it about keeping theater alive why you know if you didn't have this sort of enthusiasm for the arts uh, I guess there would be no show mm -hmm. and the best part about the the, the the enthusiasm within the community is it actually starts at all ages you know we have our junior theater programs throughout the valley that start at the age of six and we go up our you know one of our oldest actors in a recent play was 82 so you know we have these well, there's a, there was even some. a baby there's even a baby in this play <laughs> who was acting quite well very quiet <laughs> baby Clayton's been amazing uh, but that's the excitement about live theater and that's the excitement about the couch and valley I really hope we do gather on audiences from other areas. Um, you can get tickets from myself at 250-746-6897 and we can set tickets at the door if you're an out-of-towner. Yeah. And if not, you can also go to First Chiropractic or Ten Old Books to get tickets to the show. Now earlier on the show we looked at the fact that it is the prime time of year to pick mushrooms, but uh, Dan Khan is in Goldstream looking at the fact that the salmon are running. Even though they don't have legs, they sure do come home to lay eggs. Well, a quick break now on Go Island. When we return, we'll chop and slice our way to a delish dish with the country grocer's island chef, Michael Williams. I am beginning to feel a little peckish. So, it's time for our island chef, Michael Williams. Chef Michael Williams, that looks very healthy and tasty, but it does not stop me wanting 
greasy eggs and bacon. Thanks for joining us on Go Island in the Cowichan Valley. We've been at the Mercury Theatre in Duncan, and uh, we'd love to help you tell your story to the community. We can also host this show from anywhere on the South Island, including your special place. My name's James Green, and we'll see you on the next episode. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.